Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Marie Callender's meals. This is tender beef with broccoli and a savory sauce over rice. And then down here it says tender ginger beef and broccoli bowl. Um, keep frozen, must be cooked thoroughly. We bought these at Kroger. They were $3.19, although I'm sure they sell these everywhere. Um, 360 calories for the entire bowl. And there's your other info for you if you want, if you know the other stuff. Um, you can do this in the oven if you want to. Don't do it in a toaster oven, but you can do it in a regular oven. We don't do ovens. We do microwaves, but you can if you if you feel you need to. So we're going to, um, let's see, cook one at a time. No need to vent, so that's good. So we're going to cook on high for four minutes, stir and recover, and then cook for another minute to three minutes. Wow, that's a long time. Um, I'll see what it's like after the four minutes. I may go just two minutes um, and then... That usually is okay if we go halfway. And then make sure the food's cooked thoroughly. That's, that's it. So it does have a pull tab, which is nice. And if you're doing this with one hand. If you do it with two hands, it probably doesn't matter. But with one hand, I can. So you get a decent amount of beef. It looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, maybe six pieces of beef in there. Decent amount of broccoli, too. So I'm going to get this in the microwave, and um, I'll, let you, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave, and um, I did leave it for two minutes. It looked really, really soupy um, after I stirred it the first time, so I put it in there for two, and it looks perfect to me. It doesn't look too uh, too thick at all. So I am going to let this cool off a bit, and uh, I'll be back when it does. Okay, it's had some time to cool off, um, and I waited to see if Guido was going to leave, but he didn't. We'll leave in the middle of this. So here we go. I got beef. I got plenty of broccoli, plenty of rice, um, and one piece of beef. The beef is really, really tender. Um, I do have to say that about it. And the rice, it's not sticky, it is saucy. So you have the sauce sticking it together, but you don't have, um, it's not like dry and sticky, which is a good thing. I hate dry, sticky rice. Um, let me try a bite without the broccoli because most of what I tasted in that last bite was broccoli. So let me try this. Yeah, that beef is super tender. Um, there's no actual, like, seasoning in this does that make sense it doesn't um what kind of it just says savory sauce um it's more like a like a gravy yeah there he goes he wasn't excited enough to stay in here with me i guess i wasn't doing anything um the sauce is okay it's not like a really strong sauce but um but it's good it's not like a it says savory but it, i think the savory i think of seasonings and you know and stuff like that i really don't taste that in there but if you get a piece with broccoli in it all you taste is broccoli which is not necessarily a bad thing now that piece i did taste the meat and the broccoli so i guess it just depends on what bite you get the um the overall flavor though is pretty decent like i said i was expecting a little bit more savior like a um kind of like a brown gravy kind of sauce i don't know what i was expecting but this is more of a more of a sweet soy saucy kind of flavor, uh, but it's not as flavorful as that. It's not as um, savory as that flavor is. It's kind of sweet. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good meal. I, I like bro broccoli, I like rice, and I like beef. So, and the sauce just really goes, pulls, kind of pulls it all together. Like I said, not the most flavorful thing in the world, but it's also not really, really bland either. So I'm gonna give this one a four. I think there's quite a bit of food here. You get quite a bit of beef. Um, quite a bit of broccoli and, and plenty of rice to, to hold you over for a little while. Um, I like the flavor of the sauce. Wish it was a little salt, more uh, savory, but, but it's good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give this one a four. Definitely worth your try if you see these in your area and you like these kind of ingredients. And I'll catch you next time.